What's going on Tackle Warehouse fans? Thomas here with another addition to our DIY how-to series. Today, we're gonna to be talking to you all about umbrella rig storage. Look, everyone knows umbrella rigs are one of the most effective tools that we have in our arsenal, but they're also one of the most difficult things to transport and store. I mean, we got a ton of different terminal tackle, all kinds of wire arms, a bunch of blades on here. It's just, it's a really, really snaggy tool. So we're gonna go over how we're gonna get it to and from the lake, how we're gonna store it on the rod, and some cool stuff for back in the garage. So follow along with this how-to. We're gonna start off today with on the rod or on the water storage. So we got a ton of different uh, options for you here. We'll go over them pretty quickly. And since this is kind of a DIY themed video, the first one is gonna be just that. What I got in my hand here is your standard handy dandy binder clip. This thing is awesome. So you're just gonna grab your, your rig, collapse the arms, use the binder clip, you grab all your arms in there. There you go, boom. So whether it's on the rod, uh, maybe in your bag or just on the deck of your boat. This is just gonna kind of keep everything compact all together. So a nice one, super DIY themed here, and that's the binder clip. And the next DIY one we got for you is actually just a little O-ring. So this is a wacky rig O-ring. They come in a few different sizes. For the most part, the medium size one is gonna accommodate all of your rigs. If you have an uh, oversized rig or one with kind of the bait fish molded head up front, you might need to upsize to the large one, but for the most size, you know, that kind of middle standard size O-ring is gonna be perfect. All right, so for this one, you're just gonna slide it over your rig. Gonna come right over the head of this thing here and then you can slide it down all of these arms. So it's gonna kind of lock on where I have the blades locked here. If you don't have blades up top, you can slide it even further down the rig and it's just gonna hold it in place. Again, nice and compact. The really nice thing, my favorite thing about this one and kind of the reason why I use this one most of all, you don't need to take this off. So this can be on your rig 100% of the time. You can just have it come up you know, all the way up to the top of your uh, uh, collar here when you're fishing it and then you roll it down when you're ready to tie this thing off, put it back on your deck. I like to use a black one here. I use red in this case, just so it's easier to see on camera. But you know, they come in multi colors on there. So I would go with a black one or something, you know, kind of low profile, but it can stay on there 100% of the time. So that's kind of the downside of the, the binder clip. You do got to take it on and off when you're fishing it or storing it, but this one can stay on there 100% of the time. All right, now let's take a look at a few products that are designed specifically for the umbrella rig. First up, we have the Red One Systems A-Rigger. So this is a handy dandy little plastic piece and it's gonna kind of do similar to, you know, the binder clip and uh, also that, that O-ring that we we're doing. It's just gonna keep everything compact. So you're just gonna slide each of the arms into this little system here. Get the last arm in there and then boom. So it's all locked in there. So you see you have this, this little red ring on there. It's gonna hold everything, again, compact. It's not gonna tangle with the rest of your setups on your deck, not gonna grab as much as your boat carpet. And you can even store this one in some of the larger uh, Plano boxes that we're gonna look at a little bit later here. So this one's a nice one that, again, you can kind of leave on there when you're done. At the end of the day of fishing, you can actually throw that one in the box. All right, let's take a look at a couple of uh, larger products. First one here, we have the Rig Wrangler. So this is just kind of a hollow plastic tube. It has a slit that runs down the, the body of this thing. So you actually just slide this over your line and then you're just gonna collapse all of your baits on there. Boom, nice and easy. Again, it's gonna give you a little bit of that snag resistance. And for some of you tournament guys, it's actually gonna kind of disguise a little, be a little sneaky with it. You can hide some of your baits, hide the rig a little bit. So you get a little concealment out of this one, but a ton of protection as well. So it's gonna help keep you know any abrasion off of the, uh, the blank of your rod there. So not only are you kind of managing that umbrella rig well, but it's also gonna add a little bit of protection. All right, last on the rod one we're gonna look at today is from Cal Coast. We have the Cal Coast Lure Protector Bait Sack. So this thing was actually more designed for kind of oversized swim baits. You can absolutely use it for umbrella rigs as well. As you can see here on this clear one, we got it nice and tucked in there. Again, kind of the theme of this one is it's gonna be uh, an extra kind of layer of protection as well. So completely snag proof. All of your hook points are held within this durable plastic container. Uh, so it's not gonna catch on your carpet. It's not gonna catch on your other rods. Has this little clip on the back that's gonna hold onto your rod blank. So it's not gonna damage your rod either. So we have this clear version, but again, for some of my tournament guys that wanna be real sneaky with it, we also have the blackout option available as well. So you can hide your entire A-Rig in this thing. No one else is gonna see it. Maybe you're just looking for some UV protection, but we got a couple different color options for you that you can store your A-Rig safely in it. All right, now let's jump over to some stuff that we're gonna store our umbrella rigs back in the garage. First one we're gonna start with is from Flambo, and I kinda see this one as a hybrid. 
absolutely this is gonna work in your garage for you know long-term storage. But you can absolutely, I mean, it's, it's a small profile. As you can see in my hand here, this is gonna fit in a lot of your backpacks, your bags, uh, different compartments on your boat. So you can actually kind of use this one as a hybrid in the garage and on the go. What I like about the, the Flambeau umbrella rig box, as you can see in here, you kind of get some, some different compartments that you can use to store your actual wire rigs themselves. On the side here, you can do some swim baits down on the bottom, you can do some jig heads, and it's fully customizable, of course, like most of Flambeau's products. So you can adjust this to fit your rigs, whether they're finesse, they're full size, uh, large swim baits, small swim baits. If you want to combine some jig heads, separate them by their size, their weight, the options are endless with the customization of this thing, and it has their Z-Rust technology. Kind of the other hang up with uh, some of these umbrella rigs, you know, it's a lot of metal, so they can rust. So that Z-Rust technology is really going to help. And speaking to that, kind of a pro tip for you here, if you're using some, you know, really some plastics that are loaded down with salt, that salt content can actually rust the shank of your hook. So it's a good idea if you're gonna store them for any, you know, extended period of time, more than a week at a time, I would pop those swim baits off just to kind of help protect your investments a little bit. All right, so we got another one here that's gonna be more long-term storage, but kind of a hybrid as well. We have the Tackle, well Tackle Warehouse Umbrella Rig Bag. So this one actually houses four individual tubes. All of these tubes are going to be able to house one you know, fully rigged umbrella rig, maybe a couple of the finesse ones, or if you wanna load them down with a ton of the just different you know, wire unrigged bodies, these things can hold a ton of them. And then when you're ready to organize it further, you just slide it in there. So again, has four individual compartments in this thing, a killer way to store your uh, umbrella rigs. And it's also good for on the go. You have a convenient little ha uh, carry handle on top. Again, you can just toss you know, one, two, three of those tubes in your bag, in your boat, whatever you want. Now this one's probably gonna be a little bit more uh, geared towards the dedicated long-term storage. This one's from Plano. This is the Plano Umbrella Rig Stowaway Box. Now this one's actually pretty cool. I like this one a lot. Again, it's gonna be more of that permanent uh, permanent storage, but you know, larger boat compartments, uh, full-size backpacks, full-size tackle bags, you can get away with bringing them along with you. So they have these custom molded uh, partitions up top here. So the first one's gonna kind of hold, you know, the collar or the head of your umbrella rig. And then down below, you actually have these partitions that are gonna really keep all of the wires compact. So you can get that full size A rig in there without it expanding and blowing up in your box. It's just gonna kind of house it all in one tight little compartment. So really nifty feature for more of that long-term storage. Now that's gonna kind of do it for the umbrella rig specific stuff but there's a ton of different options out there on tacklewarehouse.com. You're gonna wanna check out all the storage options. So I mean, we have some sneaky little ones like this. This is a little Gamakatsu storage box. It happens to fit umbrella rigs exceptionally well, and you can really load it down. Like you see, I have a ton of room. I can add another two uh, umbrella rig wire harnesses in there, and it doesn't even end there. You know, you close this side. On the other side, I have a full empty box here, so I can add even more. So you can really pack a ton of umbrella rigs into this small, compact profile. So this is gonna be another great one. Maybe you're a bank angler. I mean, this is gonna fit in the tackle warehouse sling pack perfectly. So you can take this one with you on the go. So there's a bunch of different options on tacklewarehouse.com. Make sure to check them out. So that's gonna cover it, guys, for this uh, how-to. Hopefully this helps you tame some of those unruly rigs, uh, makes storing them and bringing them with you a little bit easier. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it, please give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more just like it, make sure to follow our page or head on over to the Learning Center on tacklewarehouse.com. Until next time, guys.